I'm bored, and I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of want to grind Damascus for a third time, but the one thing that makes me not want to is I would have to make a brand new Battle.net account and repurchase Cold War and Modern Warfare because on that account, once I would unlock Damascus for a third time or having it on a third account, I would most likely want Dark Matter and Dark Ether on that account at some point too. and. That's all fine and dandy, but I just really don't want to pay the money. I don't want to have to pay 80 bucks to play Modern Warfare again when I already own it. Not only on two Battle.net accounts already, but a PlayStation account as well. So I don't want to spend money on it, but I've been getting bored and I don't really know what to do because I'm the type of player where I need something to grind, at least within the past couple years with Call of Duty, because when I started playing Call of Duty way back in like 2008, I was always just just a casual player who would play it to have fun but ever since modern warfare remastered came out i've been the player to actually start grinding for mastery challenges and mastery camos because modern warfare remastered i actually ended up unlocking the exclusion zone camo which was my first mastery camo and then i loved the feeling of having a mastery camo and how much fun the grind was so i went back and did the black ops 3 dark matter grind and then world war 2 came out and then I did the Chrome camo, Black Ops 4's Dark Matter, Modern Warfare 2019's Damascus, twice now, and then of course Dark Ether and Dark Matter. And we got a month, or just over a month, we got like a month and three days, or I guess four days, until Vanguard comes out. And then once Vanguard comes out, I'm going to be grinding the Mastery camo in that game. But I have this entire month of not knowing what to do or play, because... I want something to grind, and I'm trying to think back on any Call of Duties, if there's like an old Call of Duty I can do a grind on, uh, but there isn't really anything I can think of that I would really enjoy, so I've been leaning towards grinding Damascus for a third time, and I already know in the comment section there's going to be so many people that are like, can you please grind Damascus on my account? I'm super close and just need launchers, or I just need snipers and launchers, or something like that, and they'll want me to finish it on their account, and I don't want to do that if I can't have it on a third account, come on now. But I just don't know. I've been playing a lot of Warzone recently too, to try and fill the void. And one thing I've also been noticing is Warzone is extremely enjoyable right now. I don't know if it's just because I got all the Modern Warfare weapons leveled up with attachments again and can actually use them now, but Warzone feels refreshing and new. The Cold War weapons don't feel overpowered. It's actually at the point, if we had like a scale on, on one side, we had the Cold War balance, and then on the other side, we had the Modern Warfare balance. The Modern Warfare weapons definitely feel stronger than the Cold War ones. I've been sniping a lot within Warzone again, and I've noticed the Modern Warfare guns sniping, reg gunning, anything feels so much better than the cold war weapons that's obviously because cold war runs on a completely different engine and those guns and animations had to be ported over and since it's from a different engine they're not going to perform or sound or look as smoothly as they would in cold war's engine but I've been having so much fun, and I, I honestly think that this month is going to be a Warzone month for me. I still have to do a bunch of Mastery Camo stuff with the DLC weapons for Damascus, and then I was also thinking I might as well go back and do some Dark Aether grinding, and of course we have Season 6 coming out, so I'll have a couple guns to do, but realistically with how many guns I have to grind camo-wise for Damascus, Dark Aether, and then DM Ultra when Season 6 drops, that would probably only take me two weeks to do. Like, like playing every day and then doing school and all that stuff like when I'm on the grind uh, I could probably finish off a bunch of guns but I don't know I also kind of just want to play and just have fun with Warzone too so I'm in this like crossroads of I want to grind Damascus for a third time I also just want to play Warzone and have fun and I also at the same time as those two want to finish the mastery camos on all weapons that i have within call of duty so i don't know if i would do the melee weapons i might do dark ether on the melee weapons for cold war because with cold war once you have the e tool dm ultra you don't really need any other melee weapon because i mean they all perform worse than the e tool the e tools faster it swings faster you run faster and then with the psi the new weapon you can jump higher and do some crazy like double jump stuff because it gives you ninja powers but i have no motivation to grind any of the cold war weapons and i know eventually i'm going to want to finish 
Dark Aether on a lot of the DLC weapons. Not that Dark Aether is going to take long. I think the only DLC weapons I have left to do are the more recent DLC weapons from the past two seasons. Everything else has pretty much been done in the first place. So you might see some zombie gameplay on the channel at some point while I grind out some Dark Aether. And then, of course, when Season 6 comes out, I'll do the Dark Matter Ultra on some of the new DLC weapons. I think we got three coming this season. We got the shotgun, which is like a lever action shotgun, which is interesting. Uh, we also have a new SMG and then a new assault rifle. And Treyarch needs to get more creative with their DLC weapons, man. I feel like in every game since Black Ops 3, they the amount of assault rifles and submachine guns that are DLC weapons are like in a ratio of like three to one, where there's always three SMGs for one DLC shotgun or like one DLC sniper. Sniper. And Black Ops 3's was the most ridiculous because there was more DLC submachine guns and assault rifles in supply drops than the game actually launched with. Like, if you got all the assault rifles from the supply drops, you probably had, like, 15 assault rifles in that game same with smgs smgs would have been like closer to 20 so i don't know why they just don't get creative when it comes to dlc weapons like it's always an smg or an assault rifle and i understand assault rifles and smgs are the most popular classes of weapons to use in call of duty but it would be so cool to see like a dlc launcher or just anything interesting that's not an SMG or an assault rifle. And I forgot what the assault rifle's name is for this. It's like the Grav or something like that for season six. But a lot of people are saying it's the Galil. And I don't know if I'm just stupid or just not remembering things properly, but I thought when the game launched, the Krig six was supposed to be the Galil. And then all of a sudden when the Fara came out in season three or season four, that the Fara was supposed to be a more modern version of the Galil. And now the Grav is supposed to be an another another version of the galil so we're gonna have three galil versions in cold war which doesn't make sense and of course people could get their information wrong along the way but i'm pretty sure that the krig was supposed to be the galil at launch and then the farah was supposed to be like a modern version of the galil so i don't know why they would need three or if I'm just completely stupid, but it also just shows that lack of originality that Treyarch has with DLCs right now. And it looks like they're just like, hey, guys, we need a DLC weapon for uh, season six. Does anyone have any ideas? And then you have one guy in the back of the room going like, hey, guys, I got an idea. What if we do the Galil for the third time? Just like technically wild wants to grind Damascus for a third time. But at the end of the day, I'm bored and don't know what games I want to play. I kind of want something new to grind, but like a short grind that I can have done before Vanguard comes out. A lot of people have been telling me to do Obsidian on Modern Warfare, but Obsidian's just not worth it. Like, I don't want to have, like, I did the math, and if you do 15 kills in 200 and whatever games, that's like 3,000 plus kills per weapon, and that just doesn't sound appealing to me. So, anyway, that's gonna be the video for today. Use code WILD on gamersubs.gg for 10% off. Help supports me and help supports the channel, as well as you guys get a fresh discount. And uh, yeah, I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.